Hi friends, this is my first video. No crazy editing, no super high quality equipment, just laptop webcam and gaming headset. But here we go. I'm just about in a position where I'll have my student loans paid off and therefore much greater financial freedom. So I've been asking myself, what will you do? Like any scrub that hasn't found their overarching goal in life yet, I took to Facebook. Um, I posed the question, say you are like a video game character. You don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about taking the time to eat and sleep. What would you do in the world? I'd like to think I'm friends with some pretty smart people, so I expected a number of people to relate to me their simplified version of what they're doing with their lives or what they'd hope to do, and I hope to draw inspiration from there. Well, I didn't get what I expected. Enter Alyssa. She's a loose friend I met while spending holidays in the neighborhood of my extended family. She never took the high path of getting a degree from a four-year university and acquiring a professional career. Due to the way I was raised, my initial thoughts of her aren't always the most kind. I'm lucky enough to be aware of this bias and catch it, but I'm ashamed to admit it does still exist. Um, regardless, she mentioned lofty goals. I would change the legal system, the school system, and on and on. My initial reaction was, ugh, she clearly doesn't get it. After some consideration, I thought to myself, hmm, maybe I can still get something from this. So I explained that she needed to describe actions only one person could do. Cue back and forth, some mentions of God telling people what to do, lots of frustration, and on and on. Eventually became so angry that I decided my goal was to fix people like her, which honestly is even less achievable than the goals she described, and in hindsight, there isn't much to fix. I described to her the kinds of thinking I wanted to encourage in people. I described a few ideas I had for inspiring people to develop critical thinking skills. I've been barely progressing on them, if at all. I don't wake up in the morning thinking, I'm excited to make a YouTube video! Or, I can't wait to finish coding that mentor matchmaking app. Uh, that just doesn't happen. I thought that maybe these goals aren't actually what I was looking for. Maybe it's because they take too long, or maybe I have other behaviors that I persist that keep me from actually pursuing those goals. And then it dawned on me. I had the most sweet of Eureka moments. Patience. I made the decision to have patience with Alyssa, and it guided me to what was right in front of me. What is patience? Initially, one might think patience is simply the discipline to wait for something. Then you get into nasty thoughts of discipline versus motivation, and down that rabbit hole. It's much, much simpler than that. Another single word. Curiosity. Patience is just curiosity. In fact, patience is a symptom of true curiosity. True curiosity waits for the story to unfold before you. It doesn't even try to rush the journey because it wants to observe the path it takes towards the end. Curiosity is the root of patience. It's even the root of critical thinking, science, all of the wonderful things in the world. It's something we should all consider when in a rush or getting frustrated how might this pan out? I wonder if I could get anything out of this. If I let this keep going, could I come across something I never would have expected to happen? Curiosity gave me the patience to keep talking with Alyssa past my shitty beliefs and biases. It gave me the will to ask detailed questions about her goals. In turn, curiosity gave her the desire to see if she could relay her points to me, even though I wasn't necessarily being the nicest. Curiosity is what led to this video. How will people react to this? So thank you, Alyssa. Thank you for reteaching me curiosity. And thank you for watching. Do tell me, how are you reacting to this? Leave a comment below. Thanks.